Hello my lovelies, welcome to Mocha Empress Oracle and Tarot. Uh, this is the energy reading for Wednesday, February 10th, 2020. One, <laughs> I almost forgot the one, 2021. Um, this is a general reading, it's not for anyone in particular. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. We're going to do a three card spread using the Angel Tarot deck. And the three card spread consists of the first card is going to be the energy of the day. The second card is going to be what you should be focusing on. And the third card is going to be what you should be avoiding. Okay? All right. So, um, anyone that would like to book a personal, contact me or donate anything to the channel. All that information is going to be located in the description below the video. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I already pre-shuffled the cards. The cards came out. And the first card is... The Eight of Water, which is the Eight of Cups. Um, Eight of Cups is when you are you abandon something for something better. Um, you're in search of something more meaningful. Uh, it's recommended that you do your research before you do that, but um, you're in search for something more meaningful, and it's going to cause spiritual and emotional growth. Okay, it's a desire to move on from something. That's the energy for today. Is the Eight of Cups. I think this is taken off from the day before. <laughs> okay. A lot of water. This is all water today. All emotions. Okay, so the second card is representing what you should be focusing on. Ace of Water, which is Ace of Cups. Um, this is emotional fulfillment. This is joy. This is a new relationship, a relationship of falling in love or the resurgence of a previous relationship someone from your past you know it's going to be Valentine's Day yeah 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 um, this is spiritual growth and enhanced enhanced intuition um, a new home uh, it could mean a new physical home like a new house a new place to live a new location relocation new state new country new town or it just could mean new relationship because I know some people consider their relationships to feel like home when there was someone that they really really care about someone that they really get that their 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 souls just seem to be just like mesh and they feel really comfortable with with this person that they're with it makes them feel like home so it could mean a new person you know a new person that you feel at home with that you feel comfortable with so this is what we should be focusing on because Valentine's Day is in four days. Yeah, in four days. So and this is all emotion. Okay, the third card is what you should be avoiding. It is the, the King of Water, which is also the King of Cups. Um, this is someone that enjoys the good life. Uh, wait, sorry. This is someone that is... Um, loving, they're trustworthy, compassionate, they're respected, they're cultured. Um, this it says open your heart and mind to those around you. Someone that is trustworthy and they give heartfelt advice. They do charity work. It's someone that is looked at as a leader, a community leader maybe. Um, someone that is known in the community as being charitable compassionate that's considered a good person um, but this also could mean someone sometimes someone that is has repressed deep feelings um, also sometimes it means someone who has possibly battled alcoholism at one time in their life king of water is someone that's very is an emotional creature um, they know what they want, they're trusted in the community, they're very compassionate people, very respected. They've been around the block a few times, but they're good people, good energy. Um, but what this is saying to avoid, um, hmm. Avoid closing yourself off to people. Avoid being non-trusting. Judgmental. 
Avoid gossiping about people. Avoid being stingy. Yes. That's what you should avoid with this this particular energy. Avoid being the opposite of this. Avoid being stingy. Avoid being stingy with yourself, with your time, with your heart. Not necessarily your finances, but just avoid being so cut off from people that, that you don't care. Avoid being cold. Avoid being cold hearted. Mm -hmm. Because King of Water energy is someone that's got an open heart. They're compassionate. Okay. So let me look at all this together. Okay, yeah, the message is saying that... Um, If you haven't found love yet, love is coming to you. It may not necessarily be today. It may be whenever you see this message. You might not see this on Wednesday, the 10th. This is whenever you see this message and if it resonates at the time that you watch it. But this is for someone who is talking to someone who is in communication with someone that they potentially want to be mates with that they want to be in a relationship with um, it could be a new person it could be someone from your past that you got along well with but just for some reason or another it did not work out um, this is saying that this person is going to if they have not yet reappeared or appeared they are getting ready to it's going to happen soon. Um, because either you or this other person, you're in search of them. Either you're in search of them or they're, they've been searching for you. Because they're trying to, they're moving on from something that wasn't healthy for them. Or you're moving on from something that was not healthy. And you've been thinking about them or they've been thinking about you and you're now back in touch with each other or you're wanting to get in touch with each other because you feel now you know that you've been separated or you feel now that you're at a point in your life that you're mature enough for a healthy relationship you're ready but this is going to this is only going to happen if you are if you try to connect with them, if you're not cold, you have to be open to a relationship. You have to be open. You have to be ready to open your heart to them. You can't be standoffish. You can't be cold. You can't be mean, selfish. You have to be loving and compassionate. You have to be this king of cups, this king of water. You have to be warm. You have to be compassionate. You have to be trustworthy. Otherwise, the relationship's not going to work. Because if they don't feel like you're compassionate or that you trust them, if they feel like they're, they're always constantly being judged and that you're not very nice to them or you don't have a good thing to say or you're just not compassionate at all, it's going to turn them off. And do you honestly think they're going to hang around? Most likely not. So that's the energy I'm getting. I'm getting that you and this person, you or this person, or maybe both of you have come to the point in your life. So now you're ready for a relationship that means something. And that's what you're in search of. You're searching for something more meaningful. And this person is going to appear for the first time in your life. Or they're going to, somebody's going to reappear that you have been with before. And you two are going to come together, try to make it work but it's only going to work if you're willing to open your heart and be compassionate and loving.
and try to be the best partner that you can be for this person. You have to open your heart. Okay, so that's the message I have. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, all that information is in the description box below the video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I love you guys. Thank you for your support, okay? Peace, love, and light. Bye.